I'm here to present the Seth Broughton Scholarship. Um, I'm actually Seth's older brother. Um, I happen to think I was much more uh, known than Seth. Others would disagree with that. Um, so Seth drowned up at Bear Lake um, almost 11 years ago in August 2007, the weekend before his senior year was to begin. And um, changed, changed our family's lives, changed a, a lot of lives in the community. Um, he was probably best known for his athleticism. He was a very, very good athlete. Um, he was a star football player here at Beaumont High School. And when he passed away, the principal at the time, who was principal tennis, approached my family with an idea to start a scholarship fund, which is what we did. And we were able to take the donations from um, right after his death and create the scholarship. And so the amount of the scholarship is $1,033, which is representative of his football number, which was number 33. Um, I'd just like to say that maybe more so than um, him being well known for his athleticism, things that, um, <clears throat> that's really weird. <laughs> maybe I put on my wife's underwear this morning. I feel a little, uh, a little too emotional. Uh, some, of the, some of the things that, I'm the most proud of is that he was a kind person, that he was a goal-oriented person, and that he went after those things that he wanted. Um, and, and I think that's really special. I feel like he was a prepared person. He was prepared to leave this earth as early as he did at 17 years old. Um, he did not have bad blood or bad relationships with those, uh, with other people around him. And and I think that was really indicative of his life. And so one of the things um, for us was that Seth left behind a legacy of poetry. Um, and it helped us understand what his, what his deepest thoughts were, what his dreams were, what his hopes were. And so in order to receive this scholarship, uh, individuals needed to submit an essay on who they are as well as an original poem. And that's what Angelica has done um, and, and become the recipient. What I'd like to do is just share one poem um, that we found a year or two after Seth had passed away and just read it. Um, this is actually a poem that we put on the headstone um, that is at uh, where he's buried. It says, what if all of life from smooth to creased skin was a dream? Would you be relieved or disappointed as you awoke to the realization that it was all a creation of the subconscious? Would you, awake, would you wake up laughing or crying? Would you lay your head back down on a pillow with a smile and wander back to long sleep? Would you roll back, back and forth, tangled in sheets, restless and uneasy? If life was a dream, would you dream it again? And to me, that says a lot, because we are the makers of ourselves. As, as uh, James Allen in As a Man Think It says, they themselves are makers of themselves. And this is one thing that stood out to us about Angelica specifically was that um, she has a big ambition. Angelica wants to become a um, physician's assistant and she will be the fourth person in her entire family, extended family included, to attend college. Um, she's overcome a lot to be able to do that and we are very, very excited to present her with the scholarship of $1,033.